Philippines. Uh, welcome again to another uh, episode of Mini Messages. Let's pray. Father, we simplify your word and help it to remain in our minds. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Uh, is that your final answer? I'm asking, is that your final answer? <laughs> as a young man, as a boy growing up, teenager, they're about. <laughs> uh, sometimes you have the eye on a girl, <clears throat> uh, and you want to check the girl, and you, in our day, you used to say, you got to sue the girl, boy, or you got to hustle the chick, uh, you got to try. And sometimes you're hustling the girl and then it's time for you all to part company. And you may ask, I'm telling you personal things here. I'm, I'm, I'm even laughing as I do it. And sometimes you got to part company. She go home, you go your way. And you go ask her, um, uh, you know, I really want you to be with me, man. Right? That's the way we would put it over, right? But you got to say so much. And then she may look at you, or she may look down and say, ah, tomorrow I'm going to get your answer. <laughs> tomorrow, you, 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 you ain't even sleeping properly. Next day you go to school, you want a conversation. And then when break time, you catch a little conversation. And then sometimes the girl tell you, nah, I ain't think me or you could there, you know. <laughs> and then you may turn and say, man, is that your final answer? Yeah, you may turn and ask that. Sometimes she change and sometimes she stick to that. Uh, but in terms of uh, the issues of life, in terms of salvation, in terms of heaven and hell, people have to give God a final answer. And that final answer better be a good answer. Yeah. Uh, listen, uh, God had a conversation with Adam and Eve. Uh, in Genesis chapter 3 and verse 9, uh, it says, And the Lord God called unto Adam and said unto him, Where art thou? And he said, I heard thy voice. I was afraid. <laughs> I was naked. I hid myself. Right? And Adam's final answer to God was an answer of blaming Eve. We must stop that. We must stop that. Uh, you, you're a sinner man or a sinner woman. You know you've done things that are wrong and uh, God is talking to you. It, it may not be audible, uh, but your conscience digging away, pricking away at you. Uh, God talking to you, showing you that what you're doing is wrong. Uh, fornication is wrong. Uh, the stealing is wrong. Uh, the Sabbath breaking, whatever is wrong. Commandment breaking is wrong. Don't blame somebody for that. Uh, don't say, well, well, my mother pulled me in this church and I have to stay here and you know it's the wrong church uh, because they ain't even keeping the commandments, right? Uh, and, and the church you're in, uh, you know, uh, they're accepting those who fornicating, who are living home and they're not married. Uh, don't blame somebody. Don't blame your mother and father for bringing you up. So that must not be your final answer. Uh, listen, in Genesis chapter 4 and verse 8, uh, it says, And Cain talked with Abel his brother, and it came to pass when they were in the field, that Cain rose up against Abel his brother and slew him. And the Lord, conversation, and the Lord uh, said unto Cain, Where is Abel thy brother? And he said, I know not. Am I my brother's keeper? Uh, come on. Cain, that is your final answer? Rudeness to Papa God who can cause you to try at that moment and i am saying uh, that cain uh, like many of us uh, we know that we have done the wrong thing yet our final answer is a rude answer uh, to god or to whoever presenting the message of god come on change your answer that should not be a final answer am i my brother's keeper yes you are your brother's keeper and sister's keeper in a spiritual sense in terms of you are supposed uh, to point out to them if you know better or uh, what is better and lead them into a better life, connect them with God. Yeah, we are our brother's keeper. That shouldn't have been Cain's final answer. Uh, then Pharaoh. Pharaoh, God said through Moses, let my people go. Uh, Pharaoh hardened his heart and he said, uh, <laughs> 
Uh, and, and Pharaoh said in, in, in Exodus chapter 5 and verse 2, and Pharaoh said, Who is the Lord uh, that I should obey his voice to let Israel go? Bad am I? Well, he big and bad. He forget who sharing oxygen. I know not the Lord, neither will I let Israel go. Pharaoh is depending upon his own strength. Now, whoever you are, that should not be your final answer. You're big and strong and you're young, strutting around, bouncing and flouncing and strong. You have health on your side. And, and the preacher says, listen, I accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Uh, don't you take that as your final answer. Who is the Lord that I should serve him? No, 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 no. The Lord is our creator and what he says, we are supposed to do it. And then, uh, then we come uh, to Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 18. It says, come now. Let us reason together. God talking. He wants an answer from you. Uh, let us reason together. Uh, though your sins be as scarlet, uh, they shall be as wool. Uh, they, they shall be as white as snow. Uh, though they be red like crimson, uh, they shall be as wool. And then it goes on to say, God talking to us. Uh, if ye be willing and obedient, ye shall eat the good of the land. Oh, praise God. Uh, God is saying to us uh, that if we are willing and obedient to him and to his voice, and to the voice of conscience that is saying, what you're doing is wrong. What you are doing is wrong. Change from that. Uh, you're breaking Sabbath, that is wrong. What you're thinking, uh, that when you die, uh, the state you get in, uh, listen, you can repent, that is wrong. It's appointed unto men once to die, and after that, the judgment. Uh, what you're thinking that, listen man, Jesus Christ wouldn't come. Understand that he is coming. Uh, what, you, what you're thinking, uh, that, listen man, I can put off baptism. No, no, look at it that way. Uh, what you're thinking, listen man, me and this lady, we live in nice. Uh, we don't have to marry. No, don't look at it so. That should not be a final answer. Uh, what you're thinking, listen man, I can hold out and I don't have to forgive uh, this uh, person who has hurt me. No, that's wrong. That should not be a final answer. Uh, what you say, uh, listen man, I can put off repenting until another time. No, that should not be a final answer uh, because Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 18 says, come Come now and let us reason together. Uh, you know, God humbles himself. May sound strange. God's supposed to grab us and say, come, this is the way walking in. But no, God says, come now, let us reason together. Uh, though your sins be as scarlet. In other words, if even you are on death row, uh, if even you have committed a crime, and perhaps nobody knows that you have committed that crime, but you know it's going to hit your conscience. God says, no matter what is the situation, come and let us reason. Give up your sins. My son died on the cross of Calvary. Your final answer should not be to walk away, but to come to him. That should be your final answer. Uh, then, uh, then I go on. As I'm about to close time, the woman at the well wasn't well until she met the man at the well. And in John chapter 4 and verse 16, Jesus Christ asked her of her husband. And then when she said uh, she doesn't have one, Jesus Christ pointed out to her, uh, for thou hast had five husbands, and he whom thou hast uh, is not thy husband. Uh, in that, you truly said, Jesus Christ is having a conversation with her. We're talking about final answer. And Jesus Christ is saying to her, listen, you got to come to this well at this midday hour because if you come at any other time, there would be a pocket fight because you are a man thief. Uh, but even though she is a man thief, uh, Jesus Christ does not want her final answer to be, I will remain in this sinful state. No, he doesn't want that. And so he points out to her, uh, where she is going wrong and this lady changes. Uh, she wasn't well before, uh, but she's now well because she met Jesus Christ at the well. The lady changes and she goes and invites uh, the villagers uh, to come and listen to Jesus Christ. 
It's similar, you know, when you accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Uh, listen, man, the thing that's been so bubbling over in you, and uh, you're so overjoyed uh, that you want to witness and you want to bring somebody else to Christ. So your final answer should not be uh, this sinful state that I am in, uh, like the woman at the well, a man thief. That should not be a final answer. I'm going to dare just to know. You should come to Jesus Christ. And then finally, finally, choose ye this day. In Joshua chapter 24 and verse 15, uh, it says, If it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, choose you this day whom ye will serve, Joshua said. Uh, whether the gods uh, which your father served that were on the other side of the flood or the gods of the Amorite in whose land you dwell, Joshua says, and that should be your final answer. Joshua says, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. That should be your final answer. As you weigh the consequences, you should make up your mind. I am going to my grave as a sinner. I'm going to accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. You know, Paul spoke to Agrippa and he asked him, he said, believe us now. Then Agrippa said unto Paul in Acts chapter 26, verse 27, Almost thou persuadest me to be a Christian. I am saying this evening, Agrippa never got a chance to change. I am saying to you, you have a chance to change. Don't be like Agrippa. You have a chance, not almost, but fully. And this, Jesus says, finally, I stand at the door and knock your final answer. He's waiting for your final answer. Uh, Revelation chapter 3 and verse 20. Uh, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him and will sup with him and he with me. Your final answer to that invitation from Jesus Christ should be, All to Jesus, I surrender. All to Jesus, I surrender. Our God and Father, somebody has heard the knock of the Holy Spirit of Jesus Christ standing at their heart door, at the conscience, saying to them, Sin no more. Accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. May that person be obedient unto the Holy Spirit and accept you and give their final answer as Lord I delay no longer I yield I give up I want to serve you bless that person tonight I pray in Jesus name amen and amen thanks again for listening to many messages see you tomorrow evening as we look into another episode